part of Elston Equine Solutions down here partnered with the Klopp and Cow Company and today I figured what we'll talk about is a leg yield on the fence okay there's six different directions you want a horse to move you want to be able to bring their head up and down which is up and the horse be able to go down and that's example one piece of the body so we got two there third direction is moving left fourth direction is moving to the right Fifth direction is move forward, and the sixth direction is moving backwards. So there's six different directions. So what we're going to talk about today is doing a leg yield. So whether it's being left or right, it doesn't matter if it's a 45 degree angle or a 90 degree angle. All right, still going to be a leg yield if it's going to the right, to the right or to the left, 90 degrees. Most people call that a side pass. Uh, so that's what I'm going to introduce is how to do that using a fence to help you out for groundwork if you've never done before. Best way to do it is find a fence, all right, down here at the ranch, ranch we've got a fence here. And what I like to do is try to keep the horse's nose about two feet away from the fence. Uh, part of the groundwork I like to use is I try to use spin the rope or I use a stick. I, I had a person give me the stick a long time ago. Doesn't matter if you're using an English dressage type stick or a, you know, natural horsemanship stick or whatever you got available. This is a good tool to use. All it is extends your arm. So to begin this, what I like to do is I like to bend the horse's nose towards me. It's easier for a horse to bend his nose towards you, kind of like what I'm doing with this stick here. This horse's head, I want to turn the horse's head towards me because what's going to happen is it's going to help with the hindquarters to move sideways. So if I release the hindquarters, guess what happens? It goes like this. Now, a leg yield is a forward movement. But it's easier for them to be able to move sideways with their head towards you versus their head pointed in. Okay, you can see that rib cage bends. It's a little bit harder movement for them to go forward for half pass. Okay, today we're working on leg yield. So I want the nose towards me. Okay, about two feet off the fence. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to push on that eye. In the beginning, I'm either going to have to push on the eye or push on the rib cage to be able to help the horse connect the dots. And then at the end, all I've got to do is raise my stick and maybe go in towards where my cue's going to be with my leg hitting right in that sweet spot right there and telling the horse to go sideways. So right now, you see the horse is kind of like a 45 degree angle towards the fence, which is perfect. So I'm going to move that front end around and be able to show you. So I'm going to wake the horse up. So this is Sancho. We're going to demonstrate off this horse. This was a prom horse that got dropped off at the ranch. Uh, Sancho here is a Mustang. Horse used to flip over backwards. I had two, three different owners. Came back here for a little bit of rehabilitation, a little bit of love, a little bit of friendliness back in her life. All right, so Sancho, we're going to move the front end over. So right now she's sleeping. I'm going to wake her up. Sancho, there, now she's see me. So I'm going to bring my hand in. Move my, my rope. She wakes up good. Now I'm gonna move the back end over. If I have to, using. Okay, if I have to, I'm gonna think, call, use the thing called escalation of aid. I'm gonna ask first, that's my body coming in this way. Then I'm gonna suggest tapping the air right next to it. And then, if nothing happens, I'm gonna promise you you're gonna move. So I ask, I suggest, and then I'm gonna promise or tell you to move your hips, okay? So here we go. I'm asking. Suggesting, good. Suggesting, good. Now, how do I know that I'm doing this properly? Okay, what I want, that's good release right there with the lips, moving stuff, nice relaxation. I didn't do a whole lot of steps. I just did enough to get the job done. Okay, I might just do one step then two steps, then three steps, and add to it. How the reason I knew it went very well right there, for the most part is, I was looking for the front end to crisscross the legs like this. 
step out of it, crisscross legs like this. Not only am I looking for the front to do that, but I'm also looking for the hind quarters to do the same thing. Now I'm going to switch it to go to this side. So I'm going to point her nose. And this is a different groundwork I'll show you. That's two feet off the fence. I'm going to walk in. There we go. And relax. I like to breathe out to stop the movement. You'll hear me go. And I want the horse to relax. Now I'm going to bring her nose back over here. Switch my tools. Vibrate. She's looking over here. Now I'm going to bring her all the way across me. Kind of send her. Now she's parallel to the fence. Or sorry, not parallel, but perpendicular. I want that nose back over. Good. Let out my air, let her know to stop. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now we did practice this, uh, oh shoot, what was it, Thursday? So this is Sunday now, so it's been a couple days. She was real rough then, so I just wanted to uh, get back to her real quick to make sure that she could do this exercise. Move the nose, I'm pointing the direction I want. Bring the front shoulders over. Bring my stick behind the drive line. Once she's perpendicular to the fence, I'm going to walk into her. Good. And let her stop. She did a, a fantastic job there. I'm going to let her end on that. So hopefully that helps you out uh, on a horse to be able to use the fence as a training aid or tool to teach a horse to be able to side pass slash leg yield. So I hope that helps. Now you know the solution because you have the knowledge and I hope that helps you out when you work with your horse. Take care now, adios. Mm -hmm.